Hey, beautiful. Hi, Mommy. How are you, pretty girl? I'm awesome, Mommy. Great, 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 great. I love your hair, beautiful. Thank you, Mommy. Oh, welcome, girl. Oh, welcome, girly girl. Just waiting on some viewers, and we waiting on some viewers. We waiting on some viewers. We waiting on some viewers. Someone said hello. Hi. Say hey, baby girl. Hi, everyone. How are you guys doing tonight? Someone said, how are you feeling, beautiful? I'm feeling great. Girl, you look great. You hear me, girl? Yes. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. It's a good night, gorgeous girl. Good night. So beautiful. What's the inspiration for tonight, pretty girl? Today's inspiration is cast the bread upon the waters and you will find it. This is the day that the Lord has made, so you're going to make it. You have made it already. You know that you have made it already. You made it to this day. You made it. Amen. You can do it. You really did it. You just got to know that God, God is going to do things. Like, he's going to He's gonna do some things. You would hear, you would hear the word of God if you listen to the word of God. That's right. That's right. So, God has worked miracles around the world. He's worked miracles around the world. Amen. But we, what we got to do is we got to walk into the victory. That's and right. And we got to be able to walk into, we have to be able to walk across the earth because God has caused it to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. This is just something that I have got out of the Bible of Genesis. Mm-hmm. God has caused it to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Then the people ran away. Why are you running away? Because God caused it to rain. That's right. When God caused it to rain, when God caused it to rain, God caused it to rain so that we could get water because the earth was very, very dry. And then it says, and then the Bible says, on the 20th day, the earth was dried up. That's what the Bible says. So, on the 20th day, the earth was dried up. It was dried up, so it needed more rain. Mm -hmm. And then it was talking, and then the Bible says it was the rain was upon you for forty days and forty nights straight. But you cannot run away from you can't run away because it's raining. You need to stay here. But your faith is telling you, your faith is telling you to come back to the Lord. Your faith is telling you to come back. That's right, boo. That's right. But what you gotta do is you gotta come back. You have to come back to the Lord because he's doing, I'm going to tell y'all now, he's doing great stuff. And what he's doing is God is doing great stuff in my life. He's going, he's, he's doing great stuff in your life too. That's right. That's right. You still have to come. Don't, do you want to let, let God change your life today? That's right. Let him do it. You got to be happy that you're ready to change. If you need a new, fresh start, you need to start all over. He going to change your life so that you can start over. That's right, boo. That's right. So what you got? And then your house is on a different name. It's paid off. Your house is paid off. And he's going to And then God allows you to move out of this old house y'all in. And he allows you to come to this house. But you know it's on debt-free land. Everything is on debt-free. If you want the six, you, six bedrooms and five baths, God, God will provide you that house straight. He will pay it off your mortgage. Then when you see that house, that's exactly what you wanted, and God provided it for you. Look at God. That's right. That's right. Look at him. Look at him. You see, you see that? You see that hole you turn right there? You see that? You got to go over there, and all you, all you got to do is thank God. All you got to do 
is thank God for that good thing he just did. All That's we got to right. do is thank God. We still got to give God the glory. We have to give God the glory every day. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We can't just smack on. We can't just give God the glory every other day. Yes. Tell them, boo. Tell them, boo. We can't. And then it says, cast the bread upon the waters and you shall find it many days. Not ten days. Not nine days. It didn't say ten days, nine days, or eight days. It said many days. That's right. That's right. You got to know that. You, you, you got to know that, you guys. You guys got to know that when God come around, when God comes to you, he come to give you power. Yes. He has come to deliver you. Woo! He has come to give you peace. He has come to give you favor. And when I say God has come, I mean he has come to do these things. Yes, yes. He has come to heal you, bless you. He has come to do so many things, save you. That's right. He has come, you guys. He has come. But what the day what we gonna do on this Sunday night is thank Jesus. That's right, that's and right. And we really, really, really have to know that God it's very important for us to know God gonna deliver us. That's right, that's right. It's very important. Because God has delivered Hezekiah, he delivered Isaiah, and he delivered he delivered Hezekiah, Isaiah, he gonna deliver you. That's right. He's not going to deliver one person, don't think of the other one. That's right. So God wants us to forgive others. Forgive others. If somebody needs a help at hand, all you got to do is help him out. That's right. Help him, help them out. All you got to do is help them out. And if you're going through a situation, you're not alone. God's going to handle it. That's you right. got this with God on your side. Y'all got this with God on your side. And if I didn't, God see the best in us. And the people only see the worst of y'all, but God see the best in us. Tell them, boo. Tell them, boo. You, it don't matter what the people say. Y'all need to stop worrying about what the people say. Think and about what the people God say. say. Yes. And worry about what God says. Start yes. getting the things that, start getting the word, put the word, in, put the word of God into your head and take the Take the negative things that people said out of your head. That's right. That's you need right. To put that right into you. Need to, you need to take that because the negative things don't supposed to be in your heart. Y'all need to take them out now. The negative thoughts do not supposed to be in your heart. Take it out your heart. That's right. That's and right. And replace it with the word of God. Put Woo! God in your heart so He can stay right into your heart. Yes. I yes. Just put him into your heart, guys. Yes. Open your heart up to God. Yes. And talk to God and be able to ask Him. Yes. He knows what you need before you ask him. Amen. He knows it. And he's going to provide it. He's going to supply it because he's the provider. Yes, God's going to take care of us. He's not going to let us go hungry. That's right. That's right. He's going to take care of us. But the more God give us food, because it says in the Bible, Peter was sleeping over vision, but he was hungry. And God... and. Jesus went to heaven to give him the um to get the food to provide the food. Jesus went back to Peter with the food and bring and brought it to him. And he said, "Take these and eat them." And Peter said, "That's not fit to eat. These are unclean and I, and that's not fit to eat." When God says something can be used to eat, don't you say they ain't fit to eat. That's right, that's right, that's right. Because he said, eat those in six days. Eat the bread in six days, no, on seventh day. Because the Bible says, eat those in um, eat those in six days. And on the seventh day, there shall be a feast unto the Lord. Exodus chapter 13, verse 6. Yes, if you read yes. that Bible, you guys have to... You got you guys have to eat it and if you gotta save more for yourself, y'all then y'all don't believe God can provide you more food. That's right, preach food, preach. You have to know that God can provide you more food. And when you all eat all that food, that means you guys know that God gonna give it to you. That's right. So on the seventh day, God gave God did it. God God had a feast. So it was Passover. It was Passover. And on Passover, Jesus' disciples were eating um green on the on the seventh day. Mm -hmm. It was called the seventh day. That's right. So when the, his disciples were eating, 
the chief priest, um, this is like off of the New Testament, the priest, the chief priest came and told, Je came to Jesus and said to Jesus, did you know your disciples are eating green in the seventh day? And Jesus said, on the seventh day, they must have been broken the law of the Sabbath. Don't you break the law of the Sabbath. Why are you breaking the law of the Lord? So you cannot break the law. You cannot break the law of him. You cannot. On the seventh day, yeah, they was eating green, but did God, if God gave you something to eat, then you need to eat it. Woo! If God gave you something to eat, I'm going to say this one more time. If God gave you something to eat, you need to eat it. Ain't no saving it. Ain't no giving it to nobody, to nobody else. Ain't no putting it in nobody else's supposed to put it. And said, eat it. Because if God gave it to you, y'all need to eat it. If, ain't nobody, if somebody else gave it to you, y'all don't need to eat it. So Jesus, it, it was one Passover and Jesus came. And Jesus was out to save us. Um, and then, and then some, and Jesus asked for a cup of water. Then a woman came, the woman came and said, Sir, are you asking me for something to drink? Or I will give you water from the well. And Jesus said, I've asked you for something to drink. And I'm asking for my cup of wine. But the water that the water that God is gonna give you to help you have eternal life, so you will never be thirsty again, turn it to wine. That's right. That's right. So, Jesus. So Jesus was asking for, and so he he was asking, and the woman said, "Sir, I that who are you asking for something to drink? I will give you the water from the well." And Jesus said, "I'm asking for my cup of wine." That's right, pretty good. That's right. And when God gave Jesus that water that had turned into wine, Jesus drank that and he drank that out of the cup that the Lord gave him. The Lord God gave him. And God is the one who said Jesus. That's right. That's and right. And Philip said, Jesus, can you t show me your father? And, and Jesus said, Philip, I have showed you my father. You have went with me too many times, and I have showed you him. How will you ask me to show you my father again? You know God, because if not, you need to read. You need to read. So Jesus, it says that Jesus went, Jesus went into, Jesus was reading the Bible of scriptures, and they were, and then they went, and we're reading too. They read the Bible um, of, of the scriptures that Jesus was giving them understanding. This is how you know it. When you read the Bible, Jesus, and you ask God for understanding, guess who's going to give you understanding? Glory, 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 glory. He'll give you understanding so you can understand everything God has wrote in the Bible. That's right, that's right. If God didn't mean what he said, y'all, he wouldn't have wrote it in the Bible. That's right. That's right. But God meant what he said. That's so right. So he wrote it in the Bible. That's right. So you guys got to keep your promises. The, the things that God said. The things that God said. And this is, this is in the Bible too. Um, in Ephesians. Grace be unto God. Peace be unto you. For God our, and God our Father shall have grace upon him. Peace will be upon you guys. Because God is coming to give you peace. You know that? That's right. That's right. But that's what he's doing. He's coming. And you guys got to receive it, though. When God has gave you something, I'm pretty sure God blessed y'all. Because he blessed y'all in this day or two. But y'all need to receive it. The thing is, y'all need to receive it. Yes. Hallelujah. You Hold need your hand in the air, y'all. Receive, receive it. Let's receive it, y'all. Let's receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes. The more you believe in God, y'all, the more words you get into you. Into you. But yes. you keep the word into your, into your heart instead of replacing the word out your heart. Keep the, right. the word into your heart. Keep the word Don't in your heart. Don't let the enemy 
Don't let the enemy take over the word Woo! and keep the enemy out of your sight and keep the word of God into your heart. Woo! Say that again one more time. Say that again. Don't let the enemy take over the word and keep the word into your heart and take the enemy out of your sight. Don't let him come in your sight. Take him out of your sight. That's right. That's right. Glory. Glory. You glory. You need to take it because you'll be reading the Bible. The devil don't like that. You don't read the Bible, the enemy don't like that. You you read that, y'all. Let's say if y'all reading the scripture right now, the devil didn't like that. That's right. That's why you gotta keep him out of your sight because he's gonna lie. He tells lies. He tells lies. Yes, but who care what he like? That's why y'all gotta keep opening that Bible up and keep reading, reading, reading. We don't care what the devil don't like. We don't care. Put him at the bottom of your feet and keep stumping over top of his head. Ain't it right, pretty girl? Ain't knowing, ain't knowing everything. Yeah. You need to open your door up and kick him out the house. So that's he right. Come that's back. right. Yes, yes, yes. No matter if it's rain or none. No matter what the devil like, it's about what God want to do. Woo! But what y'all need to do is let God do what he want to do, say what he want to say, and then let him have his way. Woo! Say it again. Say it again. You, no matter what the devil like, it's about what God want to do. So y'all got to let God do what he want to do, say what he want to say, and let him have his way. Woo, 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 woo. I got to type that in. Let God, let God do, hold on, what he wants to do. Want to say what he want to, right? Let him say what he want to say. Woo, let God do what he want to. Say what he want to. Mm -hmm. Look, I do what he want to. Say, that's right, boo. That's right. You really have to do it because what God want to do, you ain't nobody else, ain't nobody else playing better than God playing. If God Woo! got a plan, y'all can't tell God no, he can't do this plan because when God want to plan and he want to do that plan, y'all need to let him do that plan. Amen. Amen. Let him do that plan because his plan is better and bigger and larger than our plan. Woo! God's way a minute. God's plan is way better, way bigger than our plan. Wait a minute. God's plan. Woo! <laughs> God's plan. Woo! <laughs> it's way better and Woo! way bigger than God than your plan. If y'all believe that, type amen. Type amen. Amen to receive it. Woo! God's plan. It's better God's and bigger plan. than our plan. God's plan. It's better and bigger than our plan. God's plan. It's better and bigger than our plan. Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory. God, God is the one right here, y'all. Father, who's up here. Woo! Worth it. He's worth it. And he, he, is he worth it? He's yes, he worth is. it. Yes. Is he worth it? Yes. Is he worth it? Yes. Do you want God to set you free today? Yes. Do you want God to deliver you today? Because I know there's some people out here who need who need somebody to deliver y'all. All, all y'all need to do is call on God because he's coming to deliver y'all now. Glory. But you glory. Guys gotta wait. Glory. And he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He is coming. Yes. He is coming. Coming. You guys cannot look at the bad. You guys got to look at the good. Hey Amen. Because there's so much bad going on, you guys. You really have to pay attention to the good. Keep the good in your heart. Keep the Bible. Keep reading. Keep um lifting your spirits. Keep trusting in the Lord with all your heart and lean out into your right, own Right, because it's to get past that mess. Ain't nothing getting past my God. It's something to get past anything. Ain't nothing getting past God. That's right. That's Ain't right. Ain't something to get past because God be right here. That's right. And this is me right here. That's right. Ain't nothing getting the, past. He'll walk in the door before you walk in the door. He'll make sure it's safe before I even make sure it's safe. That's right. That's right. That's right. He will do it. He will do it. But all you guys got to do is get up off that. Get up off your seats. Pray to God. Then walk out the door. Put your mask on. Get your hand sanitized. Disinfect your wife. Disinfect the spray. And then what you have is you have a, a face mask. Disinfect the wipes. Disinfect the spray. Hand sanitizer. God, if something get past anything, ain't nothing get past God. Amen, amen. What are you going to remind everyone, pretty girl? The boys remember to say your prayers, never give up, keep pushing, have a great night. Mom, hmm? God is, oh my goodness, God be pouring out more stuff too when you get happy.
Gary, he get happy. He, do. he pouring out more stuff. He and do. now, what you got to do is praise God. That's right. Praising God and worshiping God is what we need to do. Because we can't let the devil take, stop us from praising God. That's we right. We still got to praise God. That's and right. thank him. Because he's worked it, and God has did so much stuff in our life we don't even know about. That's he right. He picks us up when we fall short. No matter how many times we fall short, y'all, he always picks us up. That's right. But he'll do it again, 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 again. Like he, like he made a way last time, y'all, he'll make a way again. He'll make a way when there's no way. That's right. That's right. He will make a way when there is no way. Hey, man, huh? pretty good. Woo, boo. I'll get my... Hmm? I'll get my hook. You want to get my hook? Yeah. Sure. Oh. And then joy comes in the morning like, God can't, well, God has come to give us peace. God has come to give us power and joy. That's right. That's right. Oh. Love you, Kayla. God has come to give us peace. He's come Mwah, to give us favor yeah. and strength. And, we, and when we need something to give us strong, God has to strengthen you. That's right. That's right. God gonna strengthen you. He's gonna strengthen you. And what you gotta do, you can't let. You gotta let God. You gotta let go. You and gotta. Let God. Yes, you gotta let go and let God. Woo! We are gonna stop right there. But we, you gotta let go and let who move? Wait a minute. God. Say it again. You, you gotta, gotta let, let go and let, let God. God. You hold on. Wait a minute. Say it again, boo. You gotta let go and let God. One more time. One more time. You gotta let go and let God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One more time, pretty. One more time. You gotta let go and let God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You hold on. Wait a minute. One more time. One more time. Say it again. You gotta let go and let God. Yes. Yeah. We gotta let go and let God. That means you gotta let God clean up any hurt. After disappointment, all the pain, let God get it about y'all system. That's because right. Because that stuff right there don't need to get in y'all system. That's right. Y'all need to, oh, now y'all need to wipe y'all tears off y'all face. That's right. Clean them tears off y'all face now because the only time you can cry is when you are happy with tears of joy. That's right. But there's no need for you to be sitting around here and cry. Try to keep them tears off your face. That's right. All right. And then stop giving, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Stop letting stop. Stop letting any. Stop letting this. Stop letting the devil try to pull you down or keep you down all day. You down. You need to kick him up. You need to stop on that double head for keeping you down on a couple more days. Mm. But you need to get up. You need to get up because if you can look up, you can get up. You need to get up. Keep it moving. Keep going because you cannot let things distract you from where you're going. You got to focus on where you are instead of focusing on where you're going. Once you focus on where you are first, then you can focus on where you're going. But first, focus on where you are and not where you're going. That's right. You, you, you really have to do that because it's very important for you to focus on where you are and not where you're going. And it's very important also for you to go with God. But yeah, you'll be like, you got to tell me, Amy, I, I've been way over here before. Now, I've been way over here last time. I'm way over here now. You got to tell him. I'm way over here. You got to tell him, y'all. I'm way. I was way over here before. Now, I'm way over here now. You got to tell him that. Because, yeah, I haven't been here before, but I'm still going. You haven't been there before at that place before, y'all. But you still got to go. That's you right. haven't been That's there right. before, but you still got to go. And, yeah, I've been here way before. Now, I'm here again. You got you to gotta tell my enemy. And, yeah, you've been here before. You haven't been here before, but you got to still go. You got to keep going, though, dog. Y'all cannot be stopped. Y'all cannot hold off on the things y'all ready to do now because there's an opportunity God got planned at that place. That's right. Y'all just got to be patient and let go and let God. Yeah. Let go and let God. Everyone say amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, beautiful. Yes. You you're are welcome. amazing, girl. You are amazing. Everyone want to know how you feeling. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling awesome. You feeling awesome? Yes. Glory, glory, glory to God. We give him all the glory. All the praise and all, all the, the honor. honor. That's how you know God healed. That God will heal your sickness. And God protected you. He protected you guys. He uses it. That's what you got to pray. Before you go anywhere, pray. And ask him to shield you, recover you all, you guys up. Amen. He's going to do it. He's going to protect you. He's protecting you, using his shield to protect you, us. Amen. So, you guys, um, you liked it, pretty girl. 
giving you the word tonight, you guys. Please like, comment, share with a friend, you guys. You know, share with a friend. Please follow her on all her social media platforms, you guys. Tonight was amazing. Pretty a girl gave a wonderful, marvelous, marvelous, put marvelous. Put God word. first in everything you do. Yes, put God first in everything you do, you guys. Continue to keep, you know, continue to share her videos. Keep the positivity going, you guys. Continue to keep the positive going. If you see someone in the comment section, you guys. Please continue to inspire them. We are Team Armaya, so we inspire everyone. We lift everyone up in prayer. We lift everyone's spirits up. We are here to help. We are here to be a help me to others, you guys, and continue to glorify God together, you guys. We're going to continue to lift his name as high as possible as a team. Everybody, I would just like for you to comment. Thank you, God, for everything you did, you do, and you will do. Also, comment, we bind all negative spirits, all, all negative, negative forces, forces, all, all negative, negative people, people, all, all negative, negative thought words, words all, all negative, negative thoughts, thoughts that comes that before comes our, our family, our you guys. Family. Continue to bind it out of your life as much as possible, you guys. Continue to keep pushing forward. No matter what's going on, you guys, you have to continue to continue, continue, continue to keep pushing forward. Hold your head high even when it's hard to hold it up, you guys. Keep on holding it up. 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 The harder it get, hold it higher. The harder times get, hold it higher. The harder times get, hold, hold your head higher. higher and push forward. Push harder. Push harder. Even push when, higher. Even when you feel like you don't have no more push in you, push harder. Even though, just just push harder. Push harder. Pray harder. Pray harder. Keep your head up higher. Higher. If your head down right now, lift it up. You have a you have every reason to lift your head up. You have every reason to be grateful and thankful. You are here for a reason. Times might get hard, but hard times don't last long. Continue to keep pushing. Continue to keep striving. Continue to be the best you. God sees your heart. No matter that's right. No matter what, no matter what anyone say no matter what they say or what you're going through right now god sees your heart no matter what you've been through you cannot let the past hold you down break away break them chains ask god to break them chains from that past you guys break the chains from the past and allow you to be a better you to move towards the future Continue to conquer your goals, you guys. Believe in God and trust in him and love him as well as yourself and others, you guys. Let's continue to keep everything positive. Continue to keep going, but just remember to keep your head up. If your head down right now, you're going through some hard times. We all going through hard times. You are not going through it alone. We are Team Armaya together, and we need to lift everyone up in prayers as much as possible, you guys. Continue to strive for greatness, you guys. Lift your head up. Keep your head high. You are awesome. If ain't nobody tell you today or you feel like you ain't been appreciated, we appreciate you and we love you. And we know that you are doing your best. And your if you're doing your best, your best is what, pretty girl? Enough. If you're doing your best, your best is what, pretty girl? Enough. That's right. Yes, pretty girl. Can I say the Lord's Prayer? Can you say the Lord's Prayer? Yes. Sure. Can we touch and agree? Yes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou be the glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. But yeah, you guys, keep your head up. Keep pushing forward. Keep giving God the glory. Keep giving God the praise. Keep, keep, keep pushing. Keep going. Keep going. If you ain't doing anything today, just relax. Try again tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Get some rest. God allow all of us to rest. If you haven't rest in weeks, get some rest tonight. You know, um, faith is a great, fine, soft pillow, you guys. Sleep on your faith very, very well. This is like this inspiration right here. Faith can keep you up all night long, but faith can find a, but faith is a fine pillow for you to sleep on. That's right, that's right, that's right. Faith is your medicine. 
Faith is your medicine, you guys. Faith is your medicine, but continue to keep pushing and striving for greatness, you guys. You guys got this. You got this. You're strong. You are strong. And with God on your side, can't nothing keep you down. Won't nothing hold you down. Won't nothing take you down. Just remember that, you guys. Please follow all her social media pages, you guys. Continue to allow, you know, help the followers go up. The more you watch all her videos, the more you will allow other people to continue to be blessed by her words of encouragement and to see her and see everything that she can accomplish in life. So the views matter, you guys. That's how we ask you guys to view because the more you view, the more people can be able to view. The more her videos will go on to the top um the top news you guys the more you view so just remember video you know views matter click on her page you guys view her videos keep the v views up people out here need to be inspired you guys you got this and what are you gonna mind everyone again pretty girl please remember say your prayers never give up keep pushing and have an awesome night awesome sauce